up everyone? I'm your female otaku and I'm here to review episode 11 of Overlord. Alright, alright, alright. So Overlord is about to come to an end, okay? And with this episode, we have it to where Ainz was about to defeat Shaltier, or not exactly defeat her, like try to save her, like try to get her back into a right state of mind with this uh, powerful item that he had. But unfortunately, it wasn't strong enough, so he needed a world item or something like that, okay? So right now, Shaltier, she's... Huh, how do I describe her state at this moment? Because she doesn't look exactly crazy. She's just kind of zombie-like right now, okay? Very unresponsive, very dead. Well, she's, she's the undead, but yeah, <laughs> okay? And we got so much Albedo. Finally! Finally! Albedo is like one of the best girls. Like, yo! Like, we had way too little Albedo moments, okay? I expected to get so many moments with her throughout the series, but we did not get as much as I thought or what, as much as I would have liked. So I'm really glad that she had a lot of great scenes this episode. Just seeing her fangirling, like, with, with she had the ring and stuff so she could enter the special room and everything. And she'd be blushing all the time, holding on to him. Oh, I love her so much, man. I love Albedo! Alrighty. Anyway, so... We meet this one character, and I really like this guy. I was all like, why haven't we been introduced this, to this guy before? This dude's really interesting and funny. Like, his name, uh, he's Pandora's actor, that's what he's called, and he was created by Ainz, and this dude's kind of ridiculous. He likes to dress as if he were a soldier, but he tends to salute everyone and stuff, and it started to become a little ridiculous, and it's had a bit insulting, too. And so, he started speaking, like, German once. <laughs> This dude was funny. I love this dude. I'm like, where was he this entire time, man? This, this dude's so cool. <laughs> I like him. This is the only time we're going to see him? <laughs> like, why? Anyway, so I have a question for all you light novel readers, okay? This point of creation has been brought up a couple of times. You see, uh, apparently, Shaltier, her lolly-looking form, was a creation. Albedo herself is a creation. And, you know, Ainz, he created Pandora's actor. So I'm just wondering, is everyone on this planet created? Is there no such thing as, like, birth and stuff? It's because it seems just like everyone's created. So, because, you know, Albedo at one point said that she wants to have a child with Ainz. So it's just like, does she mean by having a child with him, she just means, like, like I don't know, build one, make one from scratch? You know, like, I'm, I'm a little confused with that. I, I want to I wanna know, because I keep on bringing up this creation part over and over again, so I'm just all like, what? <laughs> okay, that'll be helpful, thank you. And so, Ainz is going to fight Shaltier. Now, uh, last week, you guys actually told me the levels of the people of Nazareth, okay? You told me that, like, uh, Ainz and all the guardians and stuff are around, like, level 100, okay? And that the combat maids, they're all around level 50-ish. And humans, if they're good enough, like, really strong, they'll be around, like, level 30-ish or something like that. So thank you. Thank you very much, okay? So that was very interesting. I thought Ainz was the most powerful of them all. But he actually admits that he has a weakness when it comes to fighting Shaltir. So that's gonna be interesting. I didn't expect like all the guardians to be 100. So that's that's very interesting. Okay. So this may prove to be a difficult battle, Ainz versus Shaltir. But I cannot wait to see it. Although I will say I am a little disappointed that we're not getting any screen time from any of the other guardians. Like they deserve a chance. We had one episode dedicated to the guardians and. It still isn't enough. It still isn't enough for me to care about them. I want to see them more. I like their character designs, okay? And their personalities are kind of interesting. So I want to see them more. I want to see more of their fighting style and things like that. But no, whenever one shows up, it's usually to say two words and bye, we'll see them in five episodes or more. <laughs> All right, so I think that... The Guardians need more screen time, but we only have one episode left. But I heard that there's a rumor going around that this might end up being 24 episodes. I think there's going to be like a second core or something like that. So I don't know. Maybe in the winter season we'll get a second core. So that'll be interesting. 
<laughs> All right, so there is no new episode of Oray Monogatari tomorrow, so instead, catch me Thursday as I review Gakko Guraishi and Hitalia the World Twinkle. I'm your female otaku, sayonara.